we just downloaded HyperCam and now we're going to set it up. So I usually set the area or the position that I'm going to record at about 10, 10, which means 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels to the left of the upper left hand corner of your monitor or your screen. And then um, the standard size for YouTube videos is 1280 by 720. This is a 16 by 9 size, which is the most popular size now on monitors. So set it to this number if you can. If it's too large, then set it to 1024 by 576. But for most monitors today, even laptops, um, you should be able to do the standard size, which will look very nice on YouTube. Uh, show rectangle around recorded area. That should be on. Leave HyperCam window opened. I always do that. Capture layer transparent windows. If you have like Windows 7, it will do that. Most computers can handle that. If your video gets choppy, uncheck that. Go to hotkeys. I usually change these to, um, I'm pressing sh shift, like shift F10, or control F10, sorry, and this control F11, so that you can start and stop the recording with control F10 and pause it with control F11. The reason I do that is F2 is common for renaming a file, and that will conflict. Uh, when you click on a VI file, you will have a place where all of your uh, movies will be saved. Go ahead and click Browse, and then go to where you want to save them. For instance, Edward's Documents, and then I'm going to make a folder called Raw Videos. Enter, enter, and uh, just click Save and now they will all be saved in there and a number will be added to clip which is uh, exactly what you want um, that should be all for that screen click on sound and after you plug in your uh, USB device you will see it here go ahead and just select it whichever one um, you happen to have. You should see the USB headphone that you plug in there. Uh, keep this on stereo, keep this on 16-bit, and move this up to 44100 for the best sound. Um, yeah, that's all you have to do, and you're ready to record.